the thoughts and the ideas of cutting my hair and starting over and um, having this pull to want to explore different hairstyles, sometimes those thoughts can really consume me and bring me down. Hey, beautiful people of the world, it's your girl, a Reed, and if you're tuning in today, it's because you wanna know about my eighth month update with my DIY micro starter locks. If this is your first time joining, welcome, and if you've been around your girl's page before, welcome back. Thank you all for watching. And without any further ado, let's just jump right in. This is the part of the journey, for me personally, where it's getting really hard. Between my hair taking on so many changes, and having the human hair extensions on the ends, I couldn't take that look anymore. It was just like, all of this was expanding and the ends were so scraggly. And you know, when it's in a ponytail, it was easy to disguise, but when I would take it out, it was very evident as I would run my hands through, I would have these nice, thick, juicy locks, and then boom, like, fine hair extensions on the ends. So I couldn't take that anymore. On top of that, I was getting to the point where I was tired of seeing myself with the same hairstyle. And I'm somebody who come from a past where I wore different styles all the time. And hair is our biggest accessory, right? So when we want to jazz the outfit up and feel a little bit more sexy, we might play around with a particular hairstyle or two. But this is all I have. And I'm sure there's going to be a time where I begin to explore different styling options. But because my hair is still in this transition, I don't want to do too much to it. So I'm just stuck with this style. At least that's what it feels like. And now we're at that eighth month mark and I decided that my hair needs a revamp. And what I did was replaced every human hair twist that I felt was too stringy on the ends with my tried and true Cuban hair twist. This way I can maintain a level of consistency in the thickness of my locks, which also is gonna aid in the fullness that I see in this area because my hair naturally shrinks anywhere from 60 to 70%. So you would imagine that all my density rests right in this area. And I also made my extensions shorter to aid in that fullness. So let me show y'all what that looks like. Now there's some twists that really didn't need um, to be replaced with the Cuban hair twist. So I left those. So right now I have a mix of human hair extensions, but the majority of it is the Cuban hair twist. And this is what it looks like. Y'all already know my shampoo. I didn't shampoo recently. The last time I shampooed was about two weeks ago. So it's not, it's not clean, but it's doable. This is what it looks like. I can see such an improvement already in my hair. Um, it's still not what I want it to be. Once my natural hair hits my shoulder length, I feel like then I'll be able to see a good density that is tolerable for me. But for now, um, this works because it's a, just a bigger improvement than when I had the human hair extensions on the ends. And you can see that I tried to add a little bit of layering up top so that it's not weighty and it's light. I'm really pleased with the results. My only concern is maybe the color. I wish the color was a little bit lighter because my hair is pretty light in the front, but you can't truly see that on camera, but, but it's all good. So this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and do a quick 360 for you all. You know, again, big improvement. It's not the 
steel density for me. Like I would love for all of this to be like super puffed out and thick, but this is a good medium. So definitely big improvements on that part. And I'm still not wearing my hair out. I still keep it pulled back or wear it up. I don't know, I'm just, I'm still not comfortable wearing it out. But um, a quick update is, ever since I added the Cuban hair extensions to the ends, I now shampoo loose. I don't even bother to um, do the whole braid and band, or really what I did was the braid and twist method. I do condition my hair specifically, of course, at the root area because my scalp needed it, my hair needed it. I feel like that's a part of why my hair was popping off so quickly and why, you know, I was losing locks because I was lacking moisture. And spraying oil on my hair, that's not that's not the type of moisture that my hair needed. I needed something that's gonna penetrate through the hair cuticle and fill it. So, you know, that is what I'm doing now and it's working out well for me. My hair felt so happy with the conditioner and I'm going to listen to my hair. Um, I know that there's a lot of different resources out there that says when people with locks should start using conditioner and what have you. But at that six month point, I definitely found it necessary to just use my conditioner because my hair needed it. So that's what works well for me. Um, I'm definitely shampooing on a bi-weekly schedule. More than likely I'm gonna shampoo tonight. And then I do my interlocking every four to six weeks. Again, what's important to me is preserving my locks. I don't wanna lose any more locks. So I'm making sure that I am on a strict schedule and it's working out well for me thus far. I am really happy with how it's turning out. Um, I want you to see what the interlock looks like. and it doesn't look bad at all. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to see what my hair is gonna look like in the next three to five years. Just seeing like the majority of my hair interlock rather than seeing twists because then I'll feel like, whoo, you know? And then I already know it's gonna be super full. But I definitely wanna just apologize for the delay on my updates. It's just been really hard for me and I've been trying to just adjust, right? And come to terms with what I committed to and my why in really committing to this journey. So, you know, of course, if you are considering starting your lock journey, don't hesitate. You know, definitely do your research. Um, I would say enjoy all the styles that you feel like you're gonna miss. And know that it is truly just that. It's truly a journey. And I am reconstructing what I deemed as ideal for beauty and what's sexy and what's appealing. And I'm learning that this is enough and it, I can't, it can't matter to me what's enough for somebody else. What matters is this being enough for me. And even though the thoughts and the ideas of cutting my hair and starting over and, um, having this pull to want to explore different hairstyles, sometimes those thoughts can really consume me and bring me down regarding my journey. But my why is way bigger than that. And you know, when I'm really 
committed to building a healthier, positive relationship with myself. And a huge part of that is my hair. So thank you all for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you in some way. Let me know if you see the improvement in my hair. Um, if you have any suggestions on maybe a, a different style that I could play around with, or just so I'm not bored and I'm on mine with where my hair pulled back or just up, you know, I'm definitely open to that. And then I could probably do a video on that as well. But um, this is where we're at. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, do this, y'all.